Hello, welcome. In this video here, I am going to go through all the skills in Medieval Dynasty. The current version is 1.1. I This is going to be a faster video than my other one, the in-depth view of all the skills and what they do and what best to take. This one here is just going to be a fast, quick view on what to take right away when you're leveling up your character and then at the end. So let's get right into it. We're going to start with extraction. When you're first starting, you're going to want to put one point into extraction knowledge right away and then go into master of destruction. And then you're going to want to go up to mule, which is your most important skill to take. So then you're going to max that one out for your skills. Next, you're going to want to get some uh, careful mining up and get that going for your extra loot. So then you max that out. Then you can go back into the knowledge once you have that done. You get your knowledge, learn your skills faster. After that, you're going to want to go into this skill here, use less stamina, and then go into faster mining. And that will top off that skill. And once your skill is actually maxed at level 10, you reset them, of course, and then you get rid of extraction knowledge and take other things. And we'll show you that after. Next is hunting. You're going to go start off with hunting knowledge. You're going to go right to tracker. And then you're going to go over to trap master as your most important skill and max that out. After that, you're going to want to go back up to hunting knowledge, max that out, and then go into careful hunter to get extra resources and you max that out. After that's maxed out, you can do what you want. Um, I would go into lock and load for faster attacks with your bow. And then after that, go with Steady Hand to increase your aiming. Next, in Farming, I would not take Farming Knowledge. It levels up pretty fast. I would go right to the Skilled Farmer and do that. And I'll just max this out straight off the bat. Just get Skilled Farmer up right away. After that, I would you don't have your horse yet, so I would go into Farming Master. If you do get your horse real fast, then you take Whistle Lord. But if not go into Farming Master and take that. You're going to want to take at least two skilled points into that first before you even take one into Farmer's Trance. You can take one in there, then you can go back into Farming Master, and then one more into Farming Trance. A little bit different from my first video, but if you're going to be farming for yourself, that is what you take. Take no more than two in the skill, or you're going to be hurting yourself stamina-wise in the long run. After that, you probably have your horse. You can take that. And then you want to go uh, increase your carry weight as the most important thing for your horse. And after that, you're going to want to go into Knight Rider and go faster. And of course, when you're done, you can uh, change this up to more of a horse-based build if you're done farming for yourself. We'll do that after. And, and for now we're into Diplomacy. And in Diplomacy, you're going to want to put one point into that. And then you want to go straight into Barter as your most important skill and max that out. Your next most important thing to do is get more experience. So you're going to go back into Knowledge and max that out. And the next good thing is faster NPCs. Get them more working, working better, and max that out. And then, of course, get, fix your taxes. And then down to Castleton and max that out. And, of course, you know, same as always, when you're maxed out, you can reset your skills and do not take this. Let's go over to Survival. Uh, survival is another skill that's just too easy to level, and at the start of the game, you might hit winter real fast and not have the clothing you need, and don't want to get caught off guard, so I would put two points into this right away, and one point into there right away too. So mix and match that as you see fit. After that, I would go into Survivalist for one point, so you taking less food, and then I would go into Athlete as it's one of your most important skills is running around. Well, not really a skill, but using less stamina is helpful. After that, then I'd go back into Survivalist and finish that off. And then running in water a little bit faster is always handy, and I would max that out next. And lastly, you can do Solid as rock, take less damage. More important than getting hit points and the other skills you have. Okay, over to production. Production, cooking is going to be your most, uh, one that you're going to spend the most time on. So I put a skill point into there. Uh, handyman, you're going to want to get that right away too. And then I would go right into building. Um, 
to cooking expert again, you know, a little bit faster, more experience and faster. But the most important thing to get right away is your builder's trance and max that out right away. And then after go into less stamina used and then you can do your builds a lot faster and more effective like that. And once that's done, you can go into your cooking knowledge and get more experience that way. And then you can go into cooking expert to do it faster. And now you have two more points free and you can just uh, get your 10% bonus on crafting these yourself or do experience. That's kind of your choice at the end there. That is what I recommend. I will go through it and let stop for a second at all these uh, different tabs here and let you take a look. And this is what you should end up at before you reset your skills. Um, if you need to go a little bit slower through there and, uh, and just watch it again and, and pick what you pick along the way to show it to you. I think you got a good enough view. You can always pause it as fast as you want. Now I'm going to drink another one of those and reset my skills. Now this time I'm going to do the skills being max level and not needing the, the uh, extraction knowledge and things like that. I would, I think the, uh, out of all these skills here, just one to get past it. And then of course you still want this one. And then of course mule, you want to max out mule and you want to max, uh, you want to do the rest of your, your skills. You can, if you're maxed though, you can do them any way you want now. Um, but let's go and just, just max these out the way you want to do it. And you have one point left over. We can put that, no, that's just utterly useless. Durability, so I think I, I think I go with durability just for the hell of it, because none of these other ones really help. You never really dig for clay in the pits, but if you are gonna dig for clay, I feel sorry for you, but you can do that. <laughs> okay, let's go over to here. You don't need any knowledge, and we're gonna max our steady hand since we're just gonna be attacking, so we'll just max that out. And tracker, always good. Don't use that. Never hunt for food, really. We might put points in there later on. Don't care about durability. Um, if our hunting is maxed, we don't need to do any traps anymore. So I guess we're stuck with picking careful hunter. And then we want, of course, go into the more combat ones and reload faster and less stamina for aiming. And now that's pretty much it. You don't need to take anything else. If you want to be stealthy, you can go ahead and pick stealthy stuff. You are free to pick whatever you want for your last points as skills that you, you want to use yourself. Things that I don't use is sneaking around. But if you want to collect more resources, of course you can max that out and then two more points. You can just, you know, let your bows last longer. Save some durability and farming. Of course, you don't need farming knowledge. Never did. It levels so fast. You're going to want to keep your skilled farmer. And you're going to want your whistleblower, of course. And you're going to want your um, your skilled rider. And carry on the stick. Knight rider. And then, of course, skilled rider. Max side out. And you have two free points, basically. You never use that and never use that and just in case you need to go back into farming you can take your less stamina used to waste your last two skill points and for diplomat um let me see here the only thing to take really here is this skill here of course diplomat don't really need it but you just need to get over there and of course barter is always going to be useful empathy never needed it and then you max out all your basic skills here. And you have two left over and you might as well put them off into here like that. Over to survival. I'll just keep this for no reason. You probably have, you know, enough clothing by now. You just need to put one point in there. And that's always useful. Survivalist saves you some time. An athlete is good. Water dancer is not fun. Solid as a rock. And you got one more point free, which you might as well put in there for the hell of it, just in case you get, something happens. And over here to cooking and production. Uh, you can suck with the knowledge. Kind of sucks. And over here, cooking again. 
there's not, nothing much changes in this one here. There's not much, uh, not much variety of skills. You're still going to want to go with uh, mastery, but we can uh, go into cooking and the speed on this one here. And you got four points, so you can pick, you know, one of each of those, and then two more to max out whichever one you want. I would usually pick crafting myself because it takes longer to actually make the tools, and that's what it looks like. So this is what the skills look like at the end of what I recommend you taking. Um, of course, do what you want, but these are the skills I recommend taking. If you, if you want an in-depth more explanation, watch the other video. It's pretty long though, and this is just a short version of it to show you what you should take at, by the end of the game to help you out the most, in my opinion. And we'll take another look here. Give you a second. Give you a second to take a look and remember. Yeah, it's nice when the trapping master is done. You don't let the trap no more. And over here to here. And that is it. I hope you got a good view of what I recommend, and I hope this helped you out nicely in your adventures. Thanks for watching.